Hey guys, we are at Mesa Verde National Park in Colorado in America. And for the next three days, we are going to tour around the park here. Today, we're going to go inside the visitor center, which is right here behind me. And then tomorrow, we're going to take a guided tour with a ranger of the Cliff Palace, Cliff Dwelling. And then the next day, we're going to take a guided tour of uh, the Balcony House, Cliff Dwelling as well. And so this national park is specially des designated as a, a park to preserve ancient Puebloan history. And um, it's cliff dwellings, it's Native American history. And so we're gonna check that out here. Today, like I said, we're gonna go inside the visitor center here in just a second. And then we'll drive around the park a little bit, just kind of give you a tour, probably play some music in the background, and just kind of give you an overview of what the park looks like. All right, so let's go on into the visitor center and check it out. Outside of the visitor center, we got a nice statue here of the Puebloan potter and some information boards over here. So this is the kind of stuff that we're going to go see. Wow, this is a nice visitor center. Big and clean. So this was one of the first 12 national parks in the United States. It became a national park in 1906 actually. Let's just go around. We'll kind of go around uh, counterclockwise here. This right here is an archaeological area where they do research and they restore certain types of uh, pottery. These are some more modern artifacts left by the CCC when they came and did work here in uh, the 1930s. Some examples of their artwork and pottery here. You got some little animal heads up here, people heads, different types of jewelry and such. Looks like we got offices over there. Some artwork. See, so from right here, we have three different choices, right? We could choose to go to the bookstore, go look at the exhibits, or buy tickets to the tours. So we're gonna have to buy tickets for the tours that we wanna go on. We'll look at the exhibits and go in the bookstore as well. Let's go into the bookstore first. What you doing, Seth? How's it work? You you select which one you want. It by this dot right here. You put it put it line it up. Uh huh. Or if you can line it up, and then you put two quarters or three with a, a penny in there. It's normally you should have it shiny because your uh, souvenir penny will be shiny. Then if it's not, it won't be. Okay. So it's better for signing. And then, so it's going to smash this penny right here? Yeah. And it's going to put this design on it right here? Yep. You got to turn this handle? Yeah. All right, let's see you do it. Wait. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> so push that in. Okay. Then you crank it. Is it hard? It gets hard. So is, is it smashing your penny right now? Hey, hey, that's your penny? Yep. Let's check it out. Whoa, that's cool. It's upside down. It is. Awesome Blossom. Cliff Palace. All right, so let's look around the bookstore a little bit more. We've got some nice pottery. Jewelry. DVDs. And then a bunch of different books. And souvenir items. All right, so you got a lot of t-shirts and different kinds of things like that in the bookstore. So let's cruise on over to the exhibit area and check that out. Ah, here we go. Some artifacts and information. Arrowheads and bone tools. Let's see. Some information about pottery. They were able to boil water in baskets. It's pretty cool. 
This is an exhibit about their uh, agriculture, some of their tools and pinion seeds. They mostly farmed corn here, and then later on they farmed beans and squash as well. Here's a nice display about the uh, surveyors and the park rangers who now take care of the park. Here you've got a display of uh, how they would get their water. They have a seep, it's called a seep spring right here, and so it would come out of the sandstone rock, and then it would seep out, and they would, they would grind these holes into the rock so it could collect. Then they would come along with a scoop and scoop it up into their baskets or pots and be able to take that water home because this is a very dry location. Working on building the stones for the cliff dwellings. Here's another picture or example of what we're going to go look at and the stone that was used to build it and tools used to shape it. We're currently right here and we're going to travel way down into there and then right over here is where we'll buy our tickets for uh, going on the tours all right guys so that is the visitor center here at mesa verde national park and um let's go ahead and get in the car and go drive around the park and check it out a little bit get an overview of what we're gonna see we were just down over there right at the visitor center and we made our way up here to the top this is the highest part in the park it's about 8,572 feet above sea level so you can get a good view of the area around here so let me just show you around real quick here over this way would be utah over that way uh maybe arizona a little bit utah over here this is colorado and then down over this way would be arizona and maybe New Mexico over there. So you can really see a lot from up here. Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut to some music and show you around the park a little bit. And I'll see you in the next video where we're gonna go into the Cliff Palace. And then the next video after that, we'll go into Balcony House. All right, so I will uh, see you then. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe and share it on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, or wherever you like. Talk to you later, bye. Woo!